Welcome back to Southern RV TV. I'm your host, Barry, and we've got something special for you today. We're on the Jayco campus here in Indiana, and I've got Jason Martin, the product developer for all things Eagle. How are you guys doing? Yeah, we're excited to have you. We're gonna check out some changes that are coming up for the new season, the 2022 model year. You've got some exciting things for us? We do. Everything that we can see, we've got some new floor plans, we've got some new layouts, we've got some new special features, and we're pushing the envelope a little bit in our bathroom, so we'll take a look. Awesome, let's go check it out. So we've got this brand new Jayco Eagle travel trailer. I'm noticing that the front cap has changed. Yeah, so on our Eagle HTs this year, we decided to revamp our cap setup a little bit. Um, we've moved our lights down, we softened the curves, just give it a new, more modern, updated look. Um, as you can see, we've got a windshield here. This is a first for us in the Eagle HT lineup. This is one of our new floor plans. We're really excited about how this front bedroom looks. Um, within the Eagle floor plan, we've got two new that have bed slides, and that's also a first this year for us. So that is we're really excited. Super awesome. You've kept the generator tray. We did. That's something popular. We had a lot of good feedback from our customers that that's a great option to have to set up there. They can put more batteries. They could put haul some wood up there, or if they get the gen prep, they eventually could put their own generator up inside there. Awesome. And this is a brand new floor plan. We're going to take a quick look at it. We're not going to go in depth, but it's definitely worth seeing. So let's check that out. Now, Jason, you were saying outside, this is the first Eagle that has this particular bedroom style, It does. Correct? So if you want to walk inside here, you can see um, all Eagles are standard with queen beds, but we also have king bed options. So as you can see, this is the view in a king bed. It's got a lot of walk around room, as you can see. Um, we've got this nice bench seat right here. We've got the windshield that we talked about out front, but then we put maximize the storage as much as we can. We got that trunk is huge it too. Is. I love it. And something that I noticed earlier, I know you were talking about these windows and it's something that I didn't realize on the first ones that we got. In addition to the dongle, the back of these are reflective. Yeah, so that's new this year. So when we went to the roller shades, we just wanted something a little bit differently. It helps keep the heat out in the summer and it also helps keep the heat in when it's a little bit colder. So you got that reflectivity to kind of trap your, your air circulation going through. This is an awesome bedroom, but this isn't all of the coach. Let's pop back here towards the back of the trailer. And as we head back there, notice folks that this has a big U-shaped dinette in it. So that's gonna sleep somebody that's like six foot three like me with these. Yep, so we, that drops down, it all folds up, you know, just like all our dinettes and our eagles, they all come with the, the tubs up underneath so you don't have to worry about taking the cushions off to get up inside. Um, so. You got a lot of countertop space that we've got going on here. You got places to cook, you got drawers. You know, we've got our Furion 12 volt refrigerator. Um, we've got our nice setup going on here right with our entertainment center. The fireplaces are standard now in the Eagle HTs this year. Yep. Um, and then we have the new Furion sound bar. And I always love it when the theater seating is directly across from the TV. You don't have to crane your neck to look at it in a funny way. That's, that works for me. I think it's a great design. Now this bathroom has a couple of things that are different. And one of them being, and I think we pointed it out in one of our most recent videos, but it's the blue that's on the bathroom cabinetry. Yeah, so this year we wanted to just take something different and show something other than we got. So we've got the blue that's on our lav bases and our medicine cabinets. It just allows us to get our modern and our American craftsman, something a little different. Just like in your house, your bathrooms aren't the same as your kitchens and your living rooms or your bedrooms. We just want to make it feel a little bit more like home. You've got a spot for a washer dryer prep down in there. You can do a combo all in one. Um, you've got a dressing area, a full length mirror. You got shelves that come down if you need shelving or you got the hanging space. And then you have, we utilize this again as much as we can, big storage in behind the entertainment center. Um, new floor plan for us in the Eagle HT. Uh, we're really excited about how this lays out, um, the layout, the colors, and the functionality. So. It is awesome, but this isn't all we've got to look at. There's one more Eagle sitting right across the way. We're gonna pop outside and check it out because it's got a couple of features that this one doesn't have. Uh, most definitely. All right, let's go.
Now, Jason, I gotta admit, when I walked up on this and saw the lack of a tongue jack, I was a little thrown off at first. Well, that's what everybody says. So they look at that and they go, well, it's funky. It's not what you normally see. So this year we've got a patent pending design that we've talked about is, is we went with fifth wheel style landing legs on our big Eagle travel trailers. What that does is it gives you a little bit more room for your tailgate, gives you a little bit better turning on some of the stuff but it gives you more stability. So as you're looking here, our standard build would be two landing legs with a motor and a shaft and then electric stab jacks on the rear. But what we have here on this one is when you upgrade to the auto leveling, you get a six point electric auto leveling, just like you would on a fifth wheel. Just like a fifth wheel. Another thing that I thought of when I first saw this is, man, that's gotta be faster because of that pin system for getting that tongue up and off of the ball when you're setting up camp. It is, so you know, just like your fifth wheels, you're gonna get to where you're at, you're gonna drop that, you're gonna let them drop as close as you can, you're gonna pin them. It all runs through our J Command Smart System, so it's easy, you can do it through the app on your phone, you just raise it on up, pull the truck out, get everything set, you hit the auto level button, you, you just forget about it and it sets itself. You guys, that is super cool. And I think that kind of wraps up the travel trailers, but we do have some cool things to show you in the Jayco Ego Fifth Eagle fifth wheels, sorry about that, that are right here. So let's just jump over to those and check them out. All right, let's go. Man, check out that outside kitchen. I gotta tell you, it looks good on this unit. It is. So this is a new floor plan for us. This is the Eagle 335 RDOK. So it stands for Rear Den Outside Kitchen. As you can see, we've got the outside kitchen. We've got the galvanil steel. It's got the drawer. It's got your small refrigerator, which now this year is on our inverter pre-wire. So if you have an inverter, you can actually run this refrigerator and cool things as it's going down the road. Right? That's cool. We have our J-Port system that we came out with last year. It's a patent pending design for us. Basically, it's a two inch receiver hitch on the side of the coach. We've got a platform that we put on there and then we give you an outside griddle so we're really excited about how this sets up for us on all of our outside kitchens we've taken them out of the drawer and we put them to the side of the unit the biggest thing that you get out of this it's the right optimal height for grilling no longer do you have to worry about something up here at your chest level it's down towards your waist where you're naturally cooking your food and it's all up under this big beautiful electric awning right by the entrance is super convenient and as you were saying, this is a new model, so we definitely want to check that out. But before we jump in, there's a sticker right over your shoulder that's interesting to me. These are warranted for full-time RVing. Yes, so all of our Eagles, whether it be our HD travel trailers to our big Eagle fifth wheels are all warranted for full-time RVing. So we've got you covered anytime that you're out there all year round. That is awesome. Let's pop up inside and check this thing out because I'm excited about it. So I have been in a lot of these rear den floor plans and this one knocks it out of the park. This is a great layout. I love this kitchen, the bench seating. It's all super cool. Yeah, so this is not like your typical setup. So we decided since we did the outside kitchen, we wanted a high bar bench speed. So kind of like a sports bar, right? But when you elevate everybody up, it gives you, make sure you're in the conversation with everybody. We went with hardwood here and a hardwood base here, so it makes it easier to slide on in. We even have a little footrest down here for the people that are vertically challenged. They don't just dangle their feet. A lot of countertop space. We even went a little further. We put in a little drawer right here, give you more countertop space, but you still do access all your silverware and things that are inside here. Um, residential fridge. Residential fridge is standard in our big Eagle setups with the 1200 watt inverter. But as you're coming around, you can see that we went um, a lot of countertop space on either side of the stove. Yep. And then new for Eagle this year is the 30 inch OTR microwave. Oh, so that's yeah. a new feature that we have in our big Eagle travel trailers and fifth wheels. Significantly larger than past Mac it microwaves. Is. And we've got our standard pantry. We've seen this in a lot of Eagles with that motion sensor light in there. I like it a lot. And then this den, this den is awesome. It's kind of traditional in the sense that a lot of rear dens kind of look like this, but there's some touches in here I really like, like the finishes here on the counter, yeah. the televator, it's really nice. So we went with, like we normally do on our countertops, we went with that just dressed wood look, so on our countertops, we wanted to make sure that this was an inviting open area, so we went with a lot of natural windows, so that's why we put the TV on a left. So you have your standard fireplace, you got your JBL system, you have two opposing slide outs that have trifolds in them. So when these fold out, they actually give you a little spot you can get in between, but then they've got our theater seat right across from them. So like I said, a lot of great conversations. 
It separates the kitchen, but it also incorporates the kitchen into the conversation. All while allowing the potential to sleep another four people back here. Yep. That is pretty cool. Let's pop up to the front because the, the bathroom and the bedroom are pretty slick in and of themselves. So this bathroom, and I've noted it on a RSTS model that we have, has this beautiful blue finish going yeah. on. So we went with navel blue again. We're just pushing the envelope a little bit about color and style. Stacy Stewart has a great eye when it comes to figuring this stuff out. We've got the navel blue. We went with the black fixtures. We even have the new high-rise faucet this year. So as you can see, you can get your hands down there and wash them without having to get up underneath something. Um, in the Big Eagles now, we have this smooth wall, herringbone pattern uh, shower surround. Again, it just gives it a little bit more modern, updated look. In the modern farmhouse, we uh, changed the linoleum out, the countertops, and the backsplash. We took it from a country modern to a little bit more modern farmhouse. Um, we're really excited about how all this stuff is incorporated, and the feedback we're getting is really good. It is gorgeous. In the bedroom, again, king bed. Yep. So as you can see, you know, you got the king bed, you have wide open spaces. Um, new for this year, we talked about the inverter pre-wire, right? So last year we still have both outlets on the other side of the bed, so they're CPAP ready. Um, you have your secondary AC or TV location that has the inverter pre-wire. Your main TV is on the inverter pre-wire and so is your refrigerator. So it's really nice, especially if you get into gas electric refrigerators, some people like to have those cooling as they're going down the road. Well, if you have an inverter and you have the refrigerator on that inverter, you can run it on electric versus having to run it on propane. So it's a lot safer to go as you're running down. That is super slick. Now, as I understand it, we've got one more Eagle to take a look we at. We have an Eagle HT fifth wheel. Uh, we've taken our popular 27.5 RLTS that we dropped a couple years ago. We revamped it and brought it back with a little bit better look. That sounds pretty cool. Let's go take a look at it. All right. After you. So. Here we are in our 27RL. Um, this is a fairly new floor plan for us. We had a 27.5 that we had some just arrangement issues that we didn't kind of like in it. So what we decided to do is to let the floor plan go and we brought it back out with some modifications. One of the things that we did is we made sure that we stretched it about four or five inches so that when we put our recliner sofas or recliners back there, we didn't have any issues with our slide outs. We took the countertop and we straightened it out. We even uh, gave yourselves a little bit more countertop space by adding a hey. little another surface. Again, you have down inside here. One of the things that we were lacking in this floor plan, could be, even though it's so spacious, we were lacking storage space. So we went to our handy dandy little hidden pantry scenario here, right behind our entertainment center. Now we give you plenty of storage spot in a couples coach that just gives you an open area feel it is a in a lot. small ht fifth wheel that's right right so this is we're excited about this again it's just one of the last things that we had that we needed to complement our ht fifth wheel lineup up with um we're thinking we're setting pretty well and we think it's going to be really good it is awesome and for as short as it as it is with these opposing slides and no island in the middle it really does feel big yes. now Upstairs, it's got a few things going on that uh, we've seen kind of already in some of the other Eagles, but we're just kind of continuing that trend. Yeah. I love, one thing I'll point out that I don't think I mentioned previously is the, the different wallboard treatments that you guys are using yeah. to really just kind of offset different rooms. So again, Stacy Stewart, our interior designer, has a great eye when it comes to making sure we've got contrast in different locations. So you got the different wallboard inside the bathroom, Again, just to give it something different. As we talked about, we have the navel blue, but we also incorporate it and pair it with our, our farmhouse white just so that it gives you that good set. And then our Eagle HTs, we have the new molded herringbone pattern in our shower surrounds with the glass shower doors. Um, it is quite beautiful. And the bedroom itself, this is more of a traditional, uh, I'm gonna say like mid-pro bedroom. It is, but yep. as you notice, as you come up, we have linoleum all the way throughout. Plus we don't have that extra step up. So now I'm six foot, I can stand all the way up to the brink and I can stand straight up. So that means I can get in and make the bed. I can get into bed without having to feel like I gotta get on my knees and duck down. This is a queen bed. As you can see, you got a lot of walk around too, but we make it very versatile that you could throw a king mattress in here and yeah. have a larger sleeping surface. And it's not just the left and right hanging closets. We've incorporated some space right here at the foot of the bed. 
in the form of a nice big shelf system there. And that's also accessible from the bathroom. It is. Plus, if you wanted to, you could turn that into that's washer dryer prepped. That is a combo unit, I assume. Combo. Yep. And some big drawers down below. A spot that could double as storage or for TV and some clothes hooks down low too. And then you got, you know, large space inside here that you can stack up all kinds of blankets or clothing. Mm -hmm. um, like I said, the nightstands we've lowered so you could put a king bed, but we also give you the sort of versatile to put anything down inside there. It's CPAP friendly. CPAP friendly, alarm clocks, phones. So awesome. Well, I really appreciate you taking the time to do this with us, Jason. This has been very informative. I'm looking forward to the new model years coming out and hitting the dealership lot. Be sure to check them out at Southern RV in McDonough, Georgia. We're going to be carrying all these great things in the near future. You can always visit us online at southernrv.com or give us a call at 770-477-0552. And as always, until next time, happy camping.